Today, this TikToker explains why she finds it hard to trust white people. Let's take a listen to her interesting perspective. Here's another reason why I struggle to trust white people. Oh, I was at Home Depot today and, you know, I had an associate glazing the at me like they do. It happens to us all the time. Um, so I took the opportunity of her proximity to just ask her for help because I didn't know where everything was. And she looks at me and she goes, well, why are you buying all this stuff? It's the landlord's responsibility to fix things in a rental. Ma'am, what did you say? And because I know that some of you are going to attempt to explain to me what she really meant, here's my question for you. Why didn't she first assume that I might be the landlord? Do you know what I'm saying? Why is her first assumption that I am the renter? Do you know what I mean? And I was so pissed off, but I don't have the privilege of being pissed off. I did have the satisfaction of saying, well, I'm a homeowner, so there's only one person who's going to be able to do it and watching her shrivel up. Um, but, you know, I just paid for my shit and I walked out. And it's these little microaggressions, right, oh that build up over time where you can't quite prove the racism because other white people are going to attempt to gaslight you and explain it away. But it is racism. And that is why I take it on a case by case basis. And I don't want to hear y'all say I'm sorry and that sucks and I apologize on behalf of white people. I don't care. I'm just letting you know that once again, this is an example of why I think the way I think. So there's a lot to unpack here, which by the way, guys, if you haven't noticed, that's what I say after I hear something kind of bat shit. <laughs> First, I mean, who really knows if this story is true, but just for argument's sake, let's assume that it is. Is this a racist incident or a microaggression? First off, well, microaggression is not a real concept, but is this a racist incident? Was this person maybe making a racist comment? Maybe, but I guess I'd say it's hard to say. She also could have just misunderstood something you said and thought that you mentioned having an apartment or thought that you something you said gave her the impression that you were a renter rather than a homeowner or a landlord. So without actually knowing the specifics of what was said, it's kind of hard to say. It's also possible she just looked at a black person and said, and just mentally assumed you weren't a landlord or you weren't wealthy enough to own a home, which I do think would be unfair. That'd be kind of stereotyping. And that'd be that'd be a, a not a good thing to do, right? It would be definitely a little bit racially discriminatory. So if that was the case, I would say that's something she should maybe reflect on and, and try to avoid doing in the future. Although it's also not the end of the world. Okay, it's really not. So hard to say on that one, whether this is truly an instance of racism or just maybe some confusion. But I, I do, do think it's safe to say that either way, it's not exactly an earth shattering event, a victimizing or traumatizing incident in any real sense. If anything, it actually sounds like she was the one, the service person at Home Depot was the one who ended up feeling more embarrassed and maybe rightfully so hard to say again without more of the facts. But what I did want to touch on is the absolutely unhinged discourse and blanket discrimination that folks like this throw around on TikTok. This is why I don't trust white people. Excuse me, ma'am? <laughs> because you had one bad interaction with one white person that you potentially misunderstood, but even if it was a genuinely bad interaction, you then say, that's why you don't trust white people categorically. Um, babe, there's a word for that. It's called stereotyping. It's called discrimination. It's called racism. Imagine a person was mugged by a black person one time in New York City. And then they went around saying, and that's why I don't trust black people. We would all look at that person and be like, excuse me? First, we'd be sympathetic. We'd be like, oh, that's terrible. You're mugged. Then be like, and that's why I don't trust black people. We'd be like, oh, that's not fair. That's racist. That's discriminatory. You can't hold the actions of one individual against an entire group of people. Oh, wait, apparently you can as long as that group is white people, and as long as you're on the woke hellscape of TikTok. It's really shocking stuff. It's really vile stuff, honestly. It's hateful, it's bigoted, and it's divisive. And it's so wild to me that this kind of content gets lapped up by the seals on TikTok just clapping. And so many of them are actually woke white people who are like, so sorry, queen. Oh my God. And it's like, dude, she just racially insulted your entire demographic, and you're now sucking up to her. It's get a spine. It's it's a little pathetic for sure. And I do always just go back to one one point about the TikTok stuff. TikTok regularly takes down 
my videos for various violations of community guidelines or hate speech, but you can literally just be openly racist against white people as much as you want, and she'll never get it taken down for hate speech or anything like that. The double standards are galling. I mean, if TikTok didn't have double standards, they wouldn't have any standards at all. Also, I just have to talk about this concept of microaggressions, which I find to be totally illegitimate. It is so infantilizing to members of a different minority group to suggest that minor verbal tics are somehow harmful to them. Actually, most people have pretty thick skin and would just roll with something like this and just point out, actually, no, I'm the homeowner. And then they say, oh, great. Okay, here's the here's the stuff you need. They move on with their day. They wouldn't go to TikTok whining about it. They wouldn't go to microaggression. They wouldn't put it on a list to read to their therapist of all the microaggressions they've endured that week, because that's not the mark of a mentally stable adult. That's the mark of somebody who's incredibly mentally and emotionally fragile, which unlike you potentially, I do not believe is the case for most members of minority groups. I actually think most of them are pretty darn resilient and would never think to deign themselves victims over something like this, let alone go whine about it to an audience of thousands and thousands of people on TikTok seeking sympathy. Just generally speaking, guys, we've got to get away from this collectivizing way of viewing the world, whether it's taking the actions of one immigrant or one black person and then drawing conclusions about entire demographics or therefore holding it against other people who belong to those groups or doing the same thing to white people in any and all cases. That is a morally bankrupt approach to the world. It is a perspective that strips people of their individuality and holds things against them they have no control over. And it's deeply unfair and wrong, and it only serves to further inflame and divide our society. But other than that, you're doing amazing, sweetie. What did you guys think of this wild anti-white TikTok? Let me know in the comments below and do hit that like button to reward my suffering because this one definitely took a couple brain cells and just incinerated them. Uh, <laughs>